You know what the Bible says? He will baptize you with what? Before you go to the baptism in fire, you need to be baptized in the Holy Ghost first. And you need to have walked with God enough to love him. When you have now loved God, then he will now take you through affliction. In order to consolidate your faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I mean terrible affliction. He will take you through affliction. Sometimes it's abject poverty. So that you can learn the lesson. He will try your heart whether you follow him or not. If you follow him in spite of your affliction. It means, it means if the devil comes and tries to manipulate you, it will be difficult for him to succeed because you went through the furnace of affliction. The reason why you are following God is because he's worthy, not because he has anything, you, something he wants to give. It's your motives are tried in the furnace of affliction. Your intentions are tried. You know, the faith movement failed to deliver something that is part of the gospel. We are not just called to reign with Jesus. We are also called to suffer with him. Because in order for him to achieve the glory that he walks in now, he had to suffer. And that's the destiny of every... We are implicated by that, by the way he altered our salvation. Are you still with me? We are all implicated. And so the faith guy wants us to make us believe that anytime things are not going the way they should go, then there are either sin issues or there are faithlessness issues. And I tell you the truth, I was high in faith, basking in glory, but the affliction was much. The affliction, the affliction was much. You know, the environment I was staying in, and God would not have me leave the place. I had a choice to leave the place, but he would not have me do so. A place where people were antagonistic to my prayer. They were antagonistic to my life. They were, they were trying to suppress me by all means. And, and I was directed by God not to respond, not to fight back, not to strike back, but to accept. Oh my God. It was like cloning. It was like death. It was like dying. When you die to every tendency of revenge, you die to every possibility of striking back, where you look at people from another eye view whatsoever. All right? You look at them from God's eye view. Sometimes it's crazy. When somebody comes and tries to strike, but you are not allowed to strike back. And all things like that. It was a furnace of affliction to test the heart to see whether we'll follow him or not. And that was the reason why the children of Israel had to follow the route that they followed. There were other routes that would have taken them to Canaan faster. But God decided that they would follow a particular route that it took them 40 years to arrive at destination. The reason was because they were going to the furnace of affliction. That was where a particular generation had to die because God was not their unique goal. A man that is going through the furnace of affliction is likely to become totally discouraged and his soul is likely to crack if he doesn't hold God as his unique goal. It's a baptism of fire. And just like you could not control the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you cannot control, you don't have authority over the baptism of fire. There is no Christian that becomes a genuine leader in the house of God that is not subjected to the baptism of fire. If, you, if your pastor has not gone through that kind of training, he should not be a pastor over you. Because he is still susceptible to human tendencies uh, that will be exploited by the devil to manipulate your destiny. I've seen all kinds of things happen in Lagos in the name of ministry. In fact, I had to tell somebody to leave a church, one church in Lagos today. I said, leave that church. One of my disciples. Leave there now. People trade with the souls of men, trade with the lives of men. They trade with the destinies of men. Oh my God, when you go to the furnace of affliction and you come out, you'll be pure. Your heart will be right. And when, the, when evil tendencies are cropping up inside of you, you'll be able to discern it. 